everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ava and I am back from the dead pretty much just to talk about something that came up in conversation just a couple of days ago. So um, I have my Red Bull here and I'm hanging out in Omu because usually it's pretty quiet. But as I said that, <coughs> but like as I said that, like three people flew past me because the tyrant is up so it's more lively than usual but we're gonna stay here until i have to change characters anyway today's discussion is actually going to be about um, how much it costs for you to max out a character in the game this particular discussion is is going to be oh hold up so pretty much what i'm going to try and do is give you a general idea if you were a new player and you wanted to know how much it would actually cost you in real money to create a maxed out character uh, leaving out things like the in-game gear because surprisingly enough you actually do have to run the content to get the in-game gear in this game um, but we're going to go through all of the other things that will get you to the end game so you can like run all that stuff for gear and just how much real life dollars it's going to cost you now all the platforms are a little different but PC and PlayStation, I believe their backlog for AD is maxed out at 750. Xboxes is like an astronomical low. I mean, it's been obviously lower way back in the day, but now it's like it's super low. Um, to buy Zen, it's 452.80 per. And to sell Zen, it's 451.80 per. So it actually is going to cost you converting wise a lot more on xbox if you were purchasing zen and then turning it into 80 but we're going to calculate both give it a like a pretty good estimate on just how much it's going to cost you the reason why this came up originally was because we were talking about other games and how much money it would take to get like all of the cosmetics in them like all of the overwatch skins i think it ends up running you like 12 grand for everything that's come out um destiny was close to that it was like some 10 grand or something um, uh, so yeah, there's like a lot of games that are obviously going to cost you crap loads of money, but this is to max out one character in Neverwinter. One good thing that they've done is make a lot of account-wide things now in this game, but it's still, you know, you're still going to have to be spending a lot of money on each character if you're doing this all with real money. Now, I'm not telling people to do that. I'm not telling people literally anything. I'm just giving you an idea of how much real life dollars it takes for you to max out a character in Neverwinter. Okay, so we're gonna start with companions. Now, the 100% bolster that you need requires you to have 10 mythic companions. We're gonna calculate it like you're buying the mythic companions versus upgrading them, because upgrading them is still gonna be costly, and if you're just trying to buy everything outright and getting it all like right away, this is just a general idea of what you would be spending on each companion. And you need 10 of them, and you particularly need 10 of the ones that you actually really need right not like just random ones but just giving you an average on what it would cost you to get yourself 10 mythic companions buying them outright okay so like the cheapest mythic companions i was seeing the other day were about 1.2 1.3 mil there are some a little bit lower and then as you go through they just go up pretty quickly up to like 2 mil to buying mythic companions and the reason why these are pretty decent is that they are account wide and they're already mythic so if you're looking for just bolster you know like a lot of people are probably just going to buy these outright so that they can have it for all of their characters but if you were to buy 10 of these estimated around 2 mil or let's say upgrade a legendary or a purple or something we're going to average all of them at around two mil each making companions being about 20 mil alone just to get 100% bolster and that's 20 mil astral diamonds everything right now we're talking about is going to be an astral diamonds and then at the end of the video we're going to convert that into zen and then convert that into real life dollar amounts so companions, 20 mil. Gear for companions and all the other stuff to do with companions really are just going to be 
having to play the game. So I'm not even going to calculate gear as an option. I'm leaving gear out of this whole picture, except for maybe like upgrading your neck and belt set, your weapon set. But the, you know, I'm not going to calculate all of that because technically you can run things and get those things in the game. So there's no point in me doing that. Okay, the next section we're going to talk about is mounts. And actually, surprisingly, it's gotten a lot cheaper to upgrade your mounts. Um, not upgrade your mounts, but upgrade the collars because they've become actually cheaper to upgrade. But that also means on the market they're cheaper as well. So we're going to actually calculate what we see on the market buying it outright versus upgrading it. Uh, but at the moment you need five mythic collars to be maxed out and then you need 20 mythic insignias now because of all the four slot bonuses and then you need 10 mythic mounts. Uh, for the 100% bolster. All of this is so that you can max your character out and I mean that by like item level and just being the highest you can be. If anyone didn't know what maxed out means. <laughs> <laughs> so just looking at mythic insignias, I mean the cheapest, and we're going to go off the cheapest, like obviously if you want to be a maxed out DPS, you're not going to want initiative insignias. Um, you know, you're going to want something better. You're going to want your DPS insignias, but we're going to, we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt and we're going to actually just go off of the cheapest insignias that they have on the market so around 600k and if you need 20 of them that's going to run you about 12 mil just in your insignias okay and now we're going to get an average of mythic mounts so there's a few here that are under a mil but then a few pages in and it goes up and bounces up to like 1.5 1.7 up to 2 mil and on from there. So I got an average of if you were going to be buying every mythic mount outright, I got an average of like 1.5 mil when I was looking at all of these. So if you were going to get 10 mounts at 1.5 mil, that's going to run you 15 mil for your max bolster. Okay, and then we're going to move over to the collars. Now I haven't been playing for a while, but um, I know that they changed how much it costs to upgrade collars. So now it takes less resources it's not as expensive and uh when you look at the market if <laughs> it's crazy because you know just like months ago i think i sold one for like 15 mil you know right before they changed it so this is this is really crazy honestly so you would in the past have been make paying like way more to do this part so this is actually a, a good thing everything on the market honestly a little tangent everything seems like so much cheaper on the market now and i don't know if there's just not enough ad funneling in the game that everything no one's selling anything so they're having to constantly make it cheaper and cheaper i do know that it's also pretty cheap to uh upgrade the collars now i get that but when i look at a lot of things there's so many things that are so cheap compared to what they were uh when i was actively on the game every day so this is pretty crazy. And even if you were to go through these collars, I'm going to say the estimate or the average estimate ish is you would be spending about four mil for each collar and that's five of them. So just an average, your collar is going to cost you about 20 mil um, to have it mythic. So like your mounts alone cost you like 47 mil. Mind you, this is just purchasing everything right off of the auction house. This could cost you a bit more, a bit less if you're upgrading, if you're, you know, getting a good deal. Sure, but like when I'm looking at it today, what you would buy off of the auction house is going to cost you about 47 mil just in your mounts. Okay, so that's a lot just in, <laughs> in one section of the character. So your collars are account wide, your insignias are account wide you know, for the most part, unless you're stuck with a character bound one, which would be just horrible. But all that's account wide. Some or most of the mounts that you're going to get are going to be account wide at this point. So 47 mil that will likely be able to go across all of your characters. Aside from the fact that insignias, you know, might not translate to another character as well, because like, if you have tank insignias for a tank, you really don't have much use of them on a DPS. So you're probably going to have to go and buy a bunch of DPS insignias um, and, you know, 
however you want to look at it with the healers they might be able to share dps insignias if you wanted to or something but still you have different classes so getting a bunch of different kinds of insignias is going to cost you also like you're probably going to need a sixth caller because you know not everyone's going to want an outgoing healing caller because well not everyone does healing so it's just like some obvious stuff like that that would vary these prices but i think i'm being pretty generous about that a lot of this stuff might be shared but if you if you were just focusing on maxing one character right now so you you're right there you're at 47 mil for the mounts you're about 20 mil for the companions and that's going to be pretty varying based off of if you're upgrading the ones you actually need you're buying mythic ones outright that are account wide uh, so there's a lot of variables, but just from the auction house, that's where we're at. Okay, so we're at like 67 mil already, <laughs> just in your mounts and your companions. Okay, so now we're going to move over to enchants, which is going to be your other pretty costly factor in upgrading. Enchants also can be account-wide, so you have the ability to upgrade a bunch to Mythic and then to Celestial or whatever. And I'm not like 100% sure the process on getting them up to Celestial, but I did look to see how much it would cost, and it's really not that bad. But I did the numbers, so you're going to need about 9 enchants, and then you're going to need a combat enchant. And let's be honest, you're probably better off going with something like a lightning um or whatever like the new best one is but most dps when i was playing it was the lightning we're not going to calculate in the movement speed bonus uh because it doesn't give you any item level so we're just going to leave that out so we need nine enchantments a combat enchant and we're going to need a companion i mean this one's one of the most important ones we're going to need a companion enchantment as well so when i was looking at the enchantments that you just put on for stats I was seeing the average be about 1.5 mil um, and that's kind of, you know, for like any of them that you're going to get that are like maybe of any use. But um, there's also the mythic companion enchantment here at 1.3 and then let's find like the first lightning. I think it's pretty close. Okay, so we're a pretty good amount of pages in and we have a lightning here for 1.7, which is crazy. I was, I was like upgrading these and selling them for like 3 mil not too long ago. They're down to 1.7. It's pretty wild this is like it's like as if like a massive blowout sale is going on on neverwinter right now when i look at these prices this is so cheap to come back to and see so <laughs> it's pretty crazy honestly when i get to the end of these numbers i'm gonna be like wow just to think how much more it would have cost you in real dollars to upgrade your character you know not even not even a year ago okay so when i did all the mythic enchantment calculations um that includes the lightning the companion and all your nine it came to around 13.5 million okay i took my lightning off to see how much it would take to upgrade to a celestial the thing is called now my god it is so cheap holy shit okay six glyphs of potency and a coal moat i think is probably going to be your ideal thing so six glyphs you got to do this with your combat enchant you have to do this with your companion enhancement and you got to do this with all of your enchantments so that's going to run you 60 glyphs and that's around 2.2 mil to 2 mil 250,000 ish and then you're going to need uh all the coal moats that's going to run you like 11 of those or something and that is okay so like 11 coal moats so they're 328 thousand so cheap holy shit yes yeah, so that's gonna run you like 3.3 mil or something like that for the 11 of them um so your enchants alone are gonna cost you like 18 to 20 mil in that range would well, be generous and say 18 but i'm thinking you might lean you a little bit more towards 20 uh just depending on what the cost of things are on you know either your platform or what they are when you look at it but as of right now i think that i think that's a safe place from what i'm calculating here on the cost of everything and then let's say if you're wanting to upgrade you like your weapons we're not even going to calculate the cost of whatever weapons people use these days because i think you can get stuff from dungeons and just roll with that so so let's say it's about two mil to rank up your neck belt and your weapons with like all the resources that you need to rank them up and then your four artifacts depending on if you've purchased them or not we're not going to calculate how much it would cost for you because 
what you're ranking up or what you're maxing out can be any kind of character. So it, whether it's DPS, tank, or healer, I'm not going to try and assume what you're going to spend on your artifacts, but I will assume that you're going to spend about three mil or so ranking them up. I like this person down here that's asked what's the longest break y'all have taken on this game. Oh man, the breaks just could never be long enough, ever. <laughs> Okay, so I jumped on one of my alt characters that has not done any of the campaigns. So I want to look at another part. Now, boons are really important in in-game, but I don't believe they give you any item level anymore or anything like that. So we're not doing this as far as item level goes. But if you're wanting to max out your character, you will want to actually have like all of your boons or at least a lot of them. And the way to do that is to get campaign buyouts. If you're wanting to do it right away, there is like a quick button for all this. And this is where like some of the stuff gets a bit, you know, pay to win. What is that outfit? The Cosmic Diver Pack. Who wants to walk around in a fish suit? Okay, let me just move on. Okay, so here in the campaigns, we have like loads of buyouts. Right now, they're actually 20% off. So, you know, they're normally 2K. I'm going to calculate them at 2K, but... Just know that if this is what you're wanting to do right now, you might pay a little bit less. <laughs> okay, so there are a handful. I'm just going to count them real quick. Okay, so give or take, there's about 14 buyouts that you can get, and they will give you boons. So these are the ones that are going to give you some, some boon points, so you don't actually have to go do that campaign. You know, you the player don't have to do that so if you're wanting to get it all right away you're going to have to spend 2000 so we're just going to calculate this one in dollars 14 of them with 14 of them at like 20 dollars each because that's how much it is to buy 2k zen that's going to cost you what like 280 dollars okay buyouts are 280 dollars if you're buying all of them okay here we are back in chol i'm just quickly doing all of the math on the buyouts the companions the mounts the enchantments and like the extra little artifact bits of upgrading and not including any gear or anything like that we're gonna leave that out also the glyphs and the call notes that you'll need to get everything to celestial so the calculation i have here if you were to buy everything outright on the auction house you're going to be spending about ninety two million six hundred and fifty thousand. that is obviously rough <laughs> estimate so and that was being generous on the price because a lot of the things that you um might purchase for that low amount that I found is going to cost you more depending on the class. Like if you're playing a DPS, like I said, with the insignias, some of the collars, uh, the enchantments, they're all going to probably vary and probably be a lot more because everyone plays a DPS. It tends to be expensive, you know, and, and that could happen with the like some of the good tank insignias, some of the good healer insignias, all that, all that jazz. It can cost you a varying amount, but just buying what is on the market right now is only between like 92 to 100 mil. <laughs> I said only. <laughs> That's pretty expensive. It's 100-ish mil to rank up one character. Now, one thing to keep in mind is a lot of this stuff is account-wide, so you don't have to do it on all of your characters, but there are things like campaign buyouts that you'll have to get on every character. If you're wanting to get the right mounts and the right companions, you'll have to purchase or find on the auction house the right companion or mount that you need. So it can all vary, but we're gonna talk about this in dollar amounts now, okay? So if you were going to actually pay with a real credit card, how much would you be spending just to get what I've talked about today? So to purchase Zen, I think the best deal is getting it at the highest amount. So to get 100 mil AD, you would probably want to purchase this 23K Zen one multiple times to convert, and then maybe like one 11K one to get you like right on the money there. And the amount that you would need to get a hundred mil and so the amount you would need to get a hundred mil forty five thousand two hundred okay so <laughs> okay so to max out your character you are going to need one thousand nine hundred dollars in order to get everything that we talked about today at like the levels that we're at so you would need like two grand in order to max your character on neverwinter it's a free-to-play game but if you wanted to do that 
you're going to need to spend two grand. Okay. Now that is on Xbox, which right now, because the exchange is so low, it actually costs more for Xbox players to do this than it does for like PC or PlayStation because PC and PlayStation are currently like maxed out. I believe on their backlog, they're still at the 750. So if you were taking, if you were purchasing Zen with a credit card and then turning it into AD, you would need less Zen to get more AD. So at that point, it's going to cost you, hold on, I'm doing math. Let me drink this Red Bull. It's going to cost you like $1,200, okay, on PlayStation and PC. Totally not as bad. I literally just bought tickets to for an international flight for $1,400. So like, I'm really going to weigh up whether I want to max my character on PC or take that flight. I'm going to really consider it. So yeah, that's a lot of money if you want to do that. I've seen people ask this. I've had someone ask me, have I paid real money? Do I need to pay real money? Me personally, no, I haven't paid that much real money. In the past, I've probably done little deals when the Zen's on sale. I think anyone is actually lying if they say they haven't done that a few times, okay, at least. I have not. I've been playing the game since 2015. So I haven't actually ever really needed that because in the past it was so much easier to make AD and it just sat there and built up over years. But if you're just coming into the game now, it's a completely different story. It is so hard to make AD. Everyone, at least everyone tells me that everything's really not easy to sell or it's coming out in content that other people can get in the easier version of that content. So like the best way to do things is probably sitting on the auction house and buying and selling again or trying to trade and selling what you trade it for. You have to really be meticulous with that stuff to really make a lot of money in this game. And they also locked you out a long time ago, but they locked you out to making only 100k astral diamonds a day in rough AD so you can only convert that much. Let's talk about how much time that would take if you only used your 100k AD every day to get to 100 mil. It's easy math. You would need to play the game for a thousand days of rough AD in order to get this same thing for $1,900 or $1,200 depending on your platform. So you can either really choose a thousand days or $1,900. Obviously, that's extreme and you can do a bit of both or you can like run more stuff and try and make more AD, but it's still going to take you a very long time to do it for free. I mean, a very long time. Even if you were working your ass off, probably still take you a couple of years. I mean, that's just me being realistic, I think. There's always the third option. Find a person who will give you all of their stuff because they're leaving the game. Or find a person that really likes you a lot that will give you all of their stuff even if they're not leaving the game. And then ask them to carry you through a bunch of in-game stuff. And then the other final option is just go into things without being maxed out. Just throw on whatever cheap thing that was on sale. Like you're like you're like the goodwill shopper of Neverwinter and you just whack stuff on and you go in and you just do what you got to do because there's a good possibility you're going to get through the content anyway. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. My Discord's going off like crazy. I don't know what drama's unfolding over there, so I'm probably going to go over and start reading uh the massive novel that's happening. Thank you everyone for watching this and I know a lot of people are probably going to like roll their eyes at it but I think it's pretty funny and I think that it's pretty interesting to kind of get a grasp on just how much money you might have to spend real life if you're wanting to max out. No judgment here, it's just a number, you know. We all can be at peace with our choices, it does not matter. I know I haven't put out a lot of Neverwinter content in a while, if any. I think the last thing I might have, have done was like a Warlock build when they like changed the Warlock to being like a good healer, when they did like the big change to the Warlock. So I haven't made a lot of content. And so that means that this channel's been a little bit sleepy. But I think that these are pretty funny videos to make and they're pretty interesting. I also hope other people are going out and finding other fun games to play while it is very quiet quiet on Neverwinter. And if you are still playing Neverwinter, please in the comments below let me know what's going on with you and just how much fun you've been having. How's the new dungeon? What's your new favorite healer? What's your fastest time? What are all your little tricks and tips and hints for other players that are still playing the game? I don't know, all that fun stuff. I think it's great. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and until the next video, I'll see you later.